hello everybody now we are going to talk about the modifications of the root but before we start talking about the modifications of the root i make to i want to make a point clear that there are three types of root system maybe you were knowing this but let me still make the point the root system can be divided into three types so let me write it ah there is a pen ah yes root system system can be divided into three categories like that we will make this chart three categories one two and the third one what are the categories these categories are first one is the tap root system then the second category is that of the fibrous root system fibrous root system and the third one is that of the the adventitious root system that is an t cs root system so what are these root system let me explain with the help of diagram the tap root system the tap root system there is a main main root and all the other roots develop as branches from this main root like this and there can be further sub branches and sub branches this type of root system is observed mainly in dicot plants this is a well diagram for which can explain the tap root system dicot plants has such a kind of root system okay now what is a fibrous root system this kind of root system is observed in monocot plants what happens is in this kind of root system a primary root develops at first which behaves like a tap root but this doesn't uh, last for long and it gets destroyed this primary root develops until a small bit and then gets destroyed uh, so let's destroy the root okay and now from the stem from the lower part of the stem roots arise the stem creates this roots the roots arise and this roots have a common point of origin as you can see there is no main axis there is common point of origin or fibrous like so they are named as fibrous roots and they look like this okay they are observed in monocot plant and the adventitious root are they are not the roots what you think to be they are roots develop there can be above ground roots and other they are roots that develop like for example a common example will be that banyan tree they uh, can be prop roots like if there is a banyan tree like this will grow a banyan tree this will be the branches branch of the banyan tree okay let me try my best attempt to grow a banyan tree there will be branches and uh, other sub branches will be also there but you have may have observed that the banyan tree the prop roots hang out like this okay so this type of root can be called prop roots of definitely but this is a part of the adventitious root system these are also roots okay so like this or or you may say let me write or with pencil i have never write it with pencil okay or in the plant pandanus or let me give a common example sugar cane still roots can be observed what are still roots here like that there is a branch and to give support to the branch roots develop from like that from the node ridges these roots these roots can hold the branch upright so these are known as still roots and this is also a type of the adventitious root system so to learn the modifications of the root system we need to be clear about the different types of root system that are there uh, this banyan tree is looking so bad 
Let me name it the Banyan tree. Okay. I am not writing with a light pen. I am writing with my mouse. The handwriting can be yeah. Banyan. Let me write that. This is a Banyan tree. Okay. And a sugar cane. So this was only to explain you the different types of root system, the fibrous root system, the sorry, the tap root system, the fibrous root system, and the adventitious root system. That's it. I think the video has already gone till the five minutes and thirty-five seconds. In the next video, we will talk about the main, the modifications of the root system. Bye for now.